there, this is CS50 Fair and I'm so excited to be talking with Van today about his absolutely phenomenal final project. So tell us what you did, Van. Yeah, so during my gap year, I became a pilot. I learned to become a pilot after nine months, but throughout this entire process, I learned how arduous it can be, when, especially when flight planning, um, because I wanted to learn about the weather, I wanted to learn about the status of an airport, I wanted to log my flights, and I wanted to keep track of my flights, but all I had to go through aviationweather.gov to, to get my weather information, I had to go to airnop.com to get my airport information, and I just, had, I just wanted to combine all of it into one personal project. And so, if you go into this weather tab, can I ask you where you're from? I'm from around the Cleveland area. All right, so I can input, I know the airport code for Cleveland. If you input the airport code for Cleveland and click get weather, I, you were prompted with live weather updates at the, with this weather dashboard. And so looking at the flight category, LIFR, this is the worst category you can get for flying. So this is a very big no-no for flying. No um, yeah. <laughs> Um, you also have visibility of 0.13 statute miles and that means that it is not a good day to fly because I fly in plus 10 statute miles. Um, and you can also tell the live wind velocity with 5 knots coming out from the northwest with dew point and temperature at 6 to 7 means that you're going to get a little foggy. So it really is just not a good day to fly in Cleveland. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, expect some bumps. <laughs> okay. But, I used to fly into smaller airports and one thing that I needed to know was general um, operational information. So if you click Cleveland, it prompts you with the name. Um, since I flew into smaller airports, I sometimes didn't know if it was open or not because some planes, or some airports actually closed. I needed to know the coordinates so I could input into my GPS and I also needed to know the elevation because if you go too low, you're in the ground and that is not we what we want. <laughs> yeah. More importantly, I also wanted to log my flights. So with the departure, I have this diary feature that says, where did I take off from? Where did I arrive? How long was the flight? Uh, what date did I fly out of? And more importantly, when I was logging my flights, my instructor would have to write notes in my logbook saying like, oh, that was an amazing flight van, or oh wow, remember that time you stopped two airports? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, and so I have um, this diary feature that I can keep as a logbook in the history fe feature. I'm an av geek, so I um, have this diary feature where I can write down all my notes. Um, and using this diary feature, you can go back to the home page and it will actually keep track of how many flights you've been on, how many airports you've been to, and how many unique countries that you've been to as well. Now more importantly, let's say that you want to keep track of a friend's flight, because as a flight tracker, I always like to make sure my friends get home safe, and I, as soon as they land, I'm the type of friend to send a welcome to XYZ when they get back. And so, let's say I wanted to track my friend's flight, Delta 16, it will prompt you with live flight information. And it looks like it is not um, open. It's, it's about to happen at 8, 620 EST. But yeah, that is my flight project as an av geek and as a general aviation pilot that I hope to use to just centralize everything. Wow, this is absolutely phenomenal, Van. And also just the technical aspects, but also your personal experiences. <laughs> this is by far one of the coolest projects I've ever seen. And also, I can't imagine all of the stories and how exciting this must have been <laughs> to combine like what you're really passionate about with CS. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to ask, what was your favorite part of creating the project or even of favorite flights, anything related to either or? Right, so my favorite flight, <laughs> my favorite part that I have is honestly the diary feature because I see myself using this diary feature like insane. When I was traveling through Europe this summer, I was writing critical notes on my favorite airports, whether or not I liked the flight attendants, whether or not I liked the food, whether or not I liked the airline, or more importantly, when my sister and I like fly together, we rank the landings, <laughs> we rank the landings, we rank the takeoffs, and I just like this personal experience of like, oh wow, that pilot landing was kind of good. <laughs> and I wanted to remember that. And so it's, for me, it's just like that remembering of all the amazing flights. And I love flying so, so much, even if I'm not even the pilot. Um, and I think you and I should fly sometime because I think totally. I make the experience very fun. I would totally be done. I would trust the flight, but as long as we're not <laughs> flying to Cleveland today. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> Cleveland. Amazing. And one final, well, two final questions. What was the most technically challenging aspect of the project? And then where do you see it going from here? The most technically challenge, the most technically challenging part of the project was implementing the flight tracker because 
Um, lots of amazing corporations have this ability to get flight trackers, but all these flight trackers cost money or I just couldn't get enough calls. And so I ended up not um, being able to do the API that I wanted to, but it gave me, it showed me the abilities that if I do have the funds, I can set up an amazing flight tracker that I could use for my friends in the future. I was even hoping, like, since I send flights automatically when my friends land, I what if I wanted to automate that? And if I input my friends' codes, can I simply input their codes and have them, the program, immediately send them a, a, a text message, welcome to XYZ when they land. Wow. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. And I really do hope you continue building upon this because we'd also love to keep track of those cool stories you're going to have about flying. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, Van. And congratulations again for your project and the whole course. And so thank you. Thank you. Thank and you, CS50. This was CS50. <laughs>